welcome back to my channel erica here for those of you who are new welcome to my channel um so yeah i know i haven't been really recording or putting up videos of makeup tutorials and i miss it so much so i'm so happy to go finally go ahead and film my everyday um easy go-to look this is it right here um i'm so upset because literally right when i was about to jump into putting on my lipstick in the video and you guys will see and i'm so sorry um my for some reason it was it stopped recording i don't know why it's super weird but i just want to let you guys know which one i used you guys could pair this with any lip color you guys want this look literally goes with any lip color okay i'm not saying wear nudes i'm not by all means wear whatever you want do you boo um but the one that i always tend to go with and it's my favorite nude and it's the kat von d bow and arrow um such 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 an amazing color literally my favorite so um this is the one i used i'm so sorry again it's just not recording and i'm not about to record the whole video once again you know because i gotta remove all this makeup and i gotta head to the gym so um i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you liked it please subscribe if you haven't already i would really appreciate it um so yeah if you guys want to see how i achieve this look then please keep on watching first i already went ahead and moisturized my face and did my eyebrows off camera um save some time i actually have to remove all this makeup and get to the gym so let's get it um, i'm gonna start off by just priming my face with the matte professional and it's gonna be the matte rescue one um i still like the original one i just prefer this one better since i'm really oily on my t-zone this one helps a lot with helping me stay um matte on my t-zone and really only having to apply um maybe literally after like eight hours so that's why i like it so much doesn't really blur my per my pores as much as I want it to, but it does the job a little bit. So, just like to press it into the skin. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit for like a minute. Um, one foundation I have been loving lately. Um, it's one of my faves that I started a long time ago, and it's the L'Oreal True Match in the shade W6 sorry w5.5 which another one forgot how liquidy this is see i'm just gonna go ahead and dot this all over my face i feel like i haven't posted a tutorial and i miss it i miss it my shirt it looks so annoying and i would say this one is a medium to full coverage um and i'm saying full coverage because you can build it up if i do a layer it's not gonna cover a lot how i want it to so i just go ahead and go back in and do a second layer only on my, on my problem area so bring it down to this neck and i'm really 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 happy with this foundation it really like matches my skin good i'm not sure you can see it in camera very good but i think it looks good and i promise off camera it does Get these ears. Okay, so this is pretty much one layer. And I think it looks good, but I'm still gonna go in with like here. So I have a little bit of problem areas. Um, this one just in case i know it kind of looks like i contour a little bit just a little bit but it's funny because it's just a mark that i have on my face and same here too so weird so i'm just gonna go ahead and go over a little bit here i have something that came out in the morning i don't know what the fuck that is 
I'm gonna go around and just do one more layer around here. And then here. And then my forehead a little bit. I have it breaking out a little bit here. Okay, that's, that's good. Then I'm going to go ahead and jump right in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer um, in the shade Medium. Again, you guys, very, very simple, easy look. This is what I usually wear when I have to get ready for work or if I'm running late somewhere or I have no idea what I want to do, what kind of makeup look. I go ahead and just, just go ahead and do this one. It's very easy, very achievable. So I like it. Very simple. I think I will be doing a back to school of makeup, but again, I'm not sure because this one, it's something that I would do um, as well. Just maybe add a little bit of eyeshadow and maybe put some falsies, but I'm thinking about it. And I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in with um, the Air Spun, the Translucent Loose Powder and bake under my eyes and my forehead just a little bit. I usually let it sit for like five minutes. But if I'm going out or something, I bake for more, maybe 10 minutes. I don't like to leave my powder around my chin and my um, upper lip area or my nose since I don't want it to get too dry around there. So I'm going to let this sit for like five minutes. I'll be back. Let's go ahead and dust it away with the Morphe M438. I believe, yes. That one. And if I got to prime my um, eyes, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that too with the same concealer. And for this look, I hardly ever wear eyeshadow. If I do, it's just me adding some color into my crease. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do today. Go ahead and set my face. Um, with the Rimmel State Matte Powder. This is such a good powder. I like it. If you're looking for a good drugstore one, um, or if you're on a budget, or just wanna try a uh, matte powder um, that's drugstore, this is a pretty good one. So then after um, I set my eyes, I'm just going to go ahead and start bronzing my face. I'm going to use the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Powder. It's the bomb. I'm just going to go ahead and do that.
lately i have been loving the no blush look i love blush don't get me wrong but um i just love the whole like bronze cheeks and um just like a popping highlight that's been my look lately just bronze a little bit here and bake under and just clean it up a little bit I'm gonna go back with the same um translucent powder Let that sit for a little bit and then while that sits i'm going to go ahead and then just apply some highlight go ahead and wipe that off i'm going to go ahead and go with the anastasia um the soul hollywood one so pretty so pretty I mean, dang. And a little bit on my nose. Then with my finger, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a little bit there. Well, who am I kidding? Let me add more. There you go. Cupid's bow. Just add a little bit in my forehead. <laughs> so since I already have the Anastasia, um, the Modern Renaissance palette on my hands, I'll go ahead and go in with the Burnt Orange, which is this orangey color right here. And then I'm going to grab the Morphe E22 and then just buff that into my crease. I made it grab too much, but that's okay. Yeah, it's like a pop of color, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that on the other eye. I mean, I went in town with the other one. I already went in with this one, right? I'm just gonna go ahead and go with the M M four three three one. And then just grab a little bit of the raw sienna, add a little bit more color into the crease and stay just a little bit lower than that. I'm not going to bring it up so much this time. Same thing to the other eye. And set my face I'm gonna be using the Gerard Cosmetics Slay all day my baby ride or die the best y'all know this all right so then I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right in with mascara I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara um, on my upper lashes so For the bottom lashes, I'm going to go ahead and use the Tarte's Caramel Lights Lashes Mascara. Um, so bomb for bottom lashes. I'm obsessed. Go ahead and then now go in with um, a little bit of the same um, highlight that I used today which is the so Hollywood and then put some a little bit under my brow bone and on my brow bone I'm sorry and on my inner corner and I always do this when I do this look 
Every look, I should say. I mean, just look. Just a little bit there and then a little bit here. 